Cool. Now, uh, I think we have seen this in the last video. Till the last video, we were, we were you know, uh, poised at this particular point where we saw select star from employees with department ID in this particular set. What is this set? This set is the set of all the department IDs from employees. It, it's a set of all the department IDs from the employees where last name was Sharma. So last name was Sharma, whichever department has any employees which has a last name of Sharma, all those departments got you know, uh, got accumulated and from that particular set, I fetched in department ID, which department ID, I mean, the entire set was fetched and I've taken data of all the employees from all those departments. This is what I've done in the previous query. Now, let me get rid of this thing and I want to try something new now. What is that new? I'll use any and and operators over here. So let's try and do that. Now, if I do this, I go for any but this is giving me error why because any operators cannot be used as a singleton operator over here i have to use a logical or a arithmetic operators along with this thing now what i'm trying to do this what i'm trying to talk to sql over here using this prog programming language called as uh, sql is that i'm telling my database i'm telling my sql to talk to database that select star from employees select all the data from the employees table where department id is less than any one of these departments where department ID is less than any one of the list of the department IDs over here. Let me get the list of the department ID. Let me select this sub query and run it separately. If I run this separately and see which are the, these are the departments we're talking about. I'll just write it somewhere and I think I'll use the same shortcut which I just realized a moment ago. It's not working now. No worries. I'll go and go for this one. So the departments we're talking about are 50, 70, 99, 22, 70, 99, 22, 45 and 30, 45 and right. I'll just keep it over here. I'll take this here, right. And now if I look at it and if I remove this particular sub query because I don't run to or rather I don't intend to run it separately. Now, if I run this and control enter, now which department ID is, what data am I getting here? The data is of all the employees, all the data of all the employees where department ID is less than any one of these department IDs. So it can be less than either 50 or 70 or 99 or 22 or 45 or 38. It has to be less than any one of them. Now, if it is less than any, see, these are the employees. This is the department. These are the departments which are less than 22. These are the departments which are, these are less than 22. This is less than 38. Similarly, this is less than 45 and so on like this, that there's a biggest circle over here, which uh, gives me 99. So this is the data of all the employees, the, all the departments which are less than 99. So if I have to go for something like where department ID is less than any one of these, I'm talking about less than 99 valley cases. That is, I'm talking about the union of this thing. That is, ultimately, what I've done over here is I've taken the maximum of the department IDs and I've fetched the entire data of the departments which which are less than maximum of this thing because I've asked them to be less than any one of these departments. Any is actually saying that any one of these departments, give me the department ID which is less than any one of this and any will include the highest as well. So it is less than 99. So it has given me all the departments which are actually less than 99. Okay, if we come from this, we can see that this is the case over here. See, all the departments which are greater than 99 are gone. Even 99 is not there. There is one department as 91. All the departments, if I can just order it, I'll just use this one, right? I'll just order this department. We have seen this, right guys? Remember this? Order by department ID and I'll go for descending. If I run this, I can see that the, don't be alarmed, that is manager ID that you're seeing. These are the department IDs over here. Can you just see? 91, 89, 89. 88, no department above 99 is being selected because as explained, it has taken any one of these departments and any would mean literally any. So it has to be less than the maximum of the departments over there. Because if I do not select 91, this query doesn't hold good because it says that give me the department ID where it is less than any one of the department IDs over here, right? So this is a complicated query, but I think once you go through this, you'll be able to understand, right? So this is the case of SQL subqueries with multiple rows any operator.